Hi guys, it's Nancy Trekker back for another adventure. Today I'm taking you on a 45 mile, five day wilderness backpacking adventure through Glacier National Park. Let's go. Today I am leaving Gun Sight campground and headed over to Lake Ellen Wilson. It's a short five mile hike, but it goes over the pass. So I promise there will be some spectacular views. I hope we see some wildlife and it'll just be one enjoyable hike. I'm all rested. It was raining most of the day yesterday. So I took the opportunity to rest up and I've got my legs. Let's go. Leaving Gunsight Lake, I knew today would be challenging. The trail to Gunsight Pass would test me, but the reward, the view, and the next leg of my journey to Lake Allen Wilson was worth every step. The climb was tough, but every time I turned around, the view reminded me why I was here. These wild landscapes where nature still reigns supreme were unlike anywhere else. without coughing. <laughs> it's so incredible. I mean, let's get a look. Just about a cloud apple.
Yeah, last view of the lake. Now we're going in there somewhere. Ever wake up one morning and think, I'm going to hike to the top of the world today. Hmm, looks like this is a snow hazard they talked about. I was sitting and talking to a guy named Brian who works at this very chalet and uh, I guess the fog lifted while we spoke. Ooh, it's so slippery. Dang. I'm gonna use my pole and support myself that way. Good thing I have practice from their Manitoba Springs. <laughs> if I fall, it's on camera at least. But it's a long way down if I fall. I don't want to fall down there. I don't have picks on my sandals. Nope. I'm almost there. There's a rock. Solid ground. Woo. Okay. At the top, I came across the emergency shelter. It's here to offer refuge when nature unleashes her wrath. As serene as this feels, it's also a remote place where you can't afford to be unprepared. to see the goats and now I get this glimpse of Lake Helen Wilson just phenomenally beautiful this place just never stops to amaze me <laughs> oh and that's a pika that's a pika right there she's so far away the lake huh that's a life that's a nice spot to sometime 
On the descent, I wasn't alone. A herd of goats seemed to be my guides, leading me down toward Lake Ellen Wilson. Their sure-footed grace in this rugged environment was something to behold. You guys are amazing. Lake Ellen Wilson Campground. Follow the goats. This guy is like, I don't know, 10 feet away. The big one. They're amazing. Oh, he's getting back on the trail. You guys, here's my feet. My shadow. And there is the goat. I love nature. I hope I'm not stressing you guys out. Thank you guys so much for giving me this opportunity. Lake Ellen Wilson, where the marmots and goats hang. When I finally arrived at Lake Ellen Wilson, I was greeted by one of the most beautiful, serene places I've ever seen. This lake, cradled by the mountains, felt like the heart of the wilderness. But the wilderness has its surprises. As I was unpacking, a deer wandered into my camp. I didn't think much of it at first until she made off with my son hoodie. There was nothing I could do but laugh. It was her way of saying, welcome to Lake Ellen Wilson. This is my home. <laughs> That's my shirt. It's 
It's my shirt you're eating. I got my shirt back. I, uh, I approached the deer and he dropped the shirt next to his other collection of garments. Do you ever wonder why there's clothing left in the woods? Now I know. Let's hope he's coming back for more. This is my shirt. Hi again. Did you come for dinner? Enough of you guys. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. As a sunset on my first day at Lake Elm Wilson, I couldn't have imagined what the morning would bring. Little did I know, my time here would soon include an unforgettable encounter with the most powerful residents of Glacier. But that's a story for tomorrow. Thanks for watching and stay tuned because this adventure is far from over.